all right so what's going on guys welcome 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 to my youtube video Woo! so for today we are going to talk about the track none other than hot air skyway so for hot air skyway it will be up against william so expect it to be challenging once again and unlike other tracks which i already finished um i won't be covering the whole track because i believe Maintaining blue fire here is much easier than out of time. So I will only be focusing on some areas, on areas which I believe to be crucial. Basically areas where you will be able to overtake the dev ghost. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so just like with out of time, I'll be using the drift driving style as an example here. But... I can assure you that the methods that I will be explaining here are applicable to speed as well and to acceleration as well to a certain extent. And first and foremost, we are going to start with the spiral part for Hatter Skyway. As you can see here, as you can see, First, I power slided towards the spiral area, but the moment, the moment I feel that I'm going to stray from the wall, I press the U-turn buttons. Then, just press Axel if you feel that you are going to go to the right too much and bump into them. So basically, the trick here is to just a good mix between U-turn and acceleration. Well, if ever if ever you are placed around at the middle area, I think you will be pressing the acceleration button less because the spiral part is too tight. It requires tight turn, so you can just probably keep on pressing the U-turn buttons which are square, brake button, reverse, right, and just keep on jumping whenever you land. So why do I think that this specific area is crucial to getting ahead of William? Main reason is... <laughs> wait. There's a certain area here in the spiral where William strays a bit to the left. And if you can continue hugging the wall, then you will be able to get a few seconds ahead of him during the first lap and that means you will have more leeway for mistakes you can actually see it in the map right here observe uh let's start with this as you can see in the map we are still on top of each other on top of each other then as it goes on as it goes on You can see here that we start having a distance. So the method when you have blue fire for the spiral air is almost exactly the same. You take a look here. I power slide, then jump, jump, you turn, it's gonna use for me jump. <clears throat> Examine the buttons further. So when I so when I felt that I was going to straight to the left. I press the user buttons, like what you can see on the controller. Then accelerate for a bit because I was gonna bump the walls. But I kind of straight to the left too much. So what I did here is just focus on pressing the user buttons. And then accelerate again. Then since the next spiral is really, really tight. Then I just press the user buttons. So yeah, basically just mix to master the spiral part in Hatter Skyway. Just need a good mix between pressing the U-turn buttons and accelerating. Just remember to keep on hugging the walls and don't do not go to the left side too much, or William will overtake you. All right, so the next area that I want to discuss is the one after the blue fire ramp. Blue fire to ramp. Particularly this one. Wait, Dingo is covering it. Oh. 
this one, this one, where, the, where my mouse is pointing. So, it may be a minor detail, maybe a minor detail, but it will still be cutting corners here. And you are still afraid of getting an invisible wall here since I experienced it a lot of times before. I think they finally fixed it as I have attempted Hatter Skyway a few times for today. And I always go for this cut here. And instead of bumping into an invisible wall, the game just gives me a mini jump. And that should be fine. As I mentioned, you will be able to keep power sliding and boosting like what I did here. I was able to boost twice. So, you may think that it's just a minor cut, but just think of it this way. Um... If I can save, I can save 30 milliseconds here. And if I do that for three consecutive laps, then that means I'll be able to save a total of 90 milliseconds. And that's almost equal to one second. So each cut is crucial. All right, and the next area that I want to discuss is the mini U-turn ahead of Dingodal, which is this. This one, as you can see on the map. So William kind of... Kind of cannot optimize his lines here as he strays off to the right side. So if you can stay to the left and apply the same tech as what we did in the spiral. Mix U-turn and acceleration button, like what I did here. Then you will be able to gain distance from him again. And just look at it. You're starting to get further ahead of him. Like here, right? before. Okay, let's start from here. And then check the minimap. Build distance, but it counts. Unfortunately, you, unfortunately, we can't see how William does it, but... I mean, we can see how William does it in my video, but... <laughs> when I allowed him to get ahead of me, he kind of... There's, there's, a, there's a specific spot here where he jumps at the right. And you can use that opportunity to get ahead of him. If you can keep hugging this spiral, this U-turn curve here. Just be careful to not fall, okay? Be careful to not fall. Then just continue power sliding here. And then next, we go to the cloud area, which is this. So if you still don't know how to do this, if you still don't know how to cut the cloud here, then basically the, the trick is to just jump around this part. One after the the wood, the wooden floor. This is where I jump and my success rate is almost 100%. So this is another part where you can gain a few milliseconds, gain a few seconds from the dev ghost because he doesn't efficiently jump in the cloud in the cloud cut. So I kinda jumped in the same area as him but like what I said, it is certainly possible to be able to land around this area instead of this. Anyway, so if the angle is weird for you, this particular angle is weird for you, then you can opt to position yourself easier, like um, go to the left a bit more so that you can approach it around like this, where my mouse is, where I'm moving my mouse that you have more time to react and more space. Alright, let's check how I did it in lap 2. Almost the same. But I did it better. I was able to cut better. Also take note that you don't really need to press the user buttons here. You just need to steer right. Just keep on steering to the right. And if ever, if ever you land in a weird way, like you are about to fall, then reposition yourself using the Eastern buttons again. 
Okay, so the next part is the U-turn shortcut before the finish line. And for this area, I want you guys to power slide to the left before you jump because you will be saving more time that way instead of just going straight and then jumping, applying the U-turn tech. So you don't need to do a turbo boost. Just power slide, position yourself facing to the left, then jump, hold the U-turn buttons, and then you feel like you're gonna fall here, just keep holding them. As you can see in the controller. Then jump, keep holding them, then release them, position yourself properly, go to the right, power slide to the right. Okay? So do the jump around the center of this path or around to the right. Because if you do it by hugging the left too much, then you are at risk of falling. Okay, so the next cut that I want to talk about is the one a few seconds after the finish line. You can also take this during lap 1, assuming you have level 3 turbo fire, but the time is much, much stricter. So I won't recommend it against the dev. But if you are aiming for, if you are aiming to improve your time further, then by all means go. You can try it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the cut. There we go. So the thing here is that the dev ghost, the dev ghost actually cuts this, but not at this area where you can see Dingodal jumping. Instead, he jumps around here, where my mouse is. Where my mouse is. So if so this means that if we jump earlier, not to mention we are jumping at a straight line instead of going through the curve here, which means we are covering less distance, we are going a few milliseconds faster than the dev ghost. So how do you what's the trick? What's the trick? To be able to get this consistently. Yep. Use this circle right here. Or this white circle right here. And not to mention this is a higher elevation. You are still at a higher elevation than when you jump a little further. Use the white circle right here. Jump. And then... You land before the wooden floor area, okay? You land before the wooden floor area. Because if you try to go further here, you are at a risk of falling. And this is much safer. It also helps. It also helps if you will boost. Doesn't matter if it's just good or perfect boost. If you boost before you jump, because you'll be able to jump a little bit higher. I've already discussed this in a Papus Pyramid Grass Shortcut Guide. Jumping, uh, boosting before you jump gives you a little bit more airtime. And since you are landing straight here in the wooden area, in the wooden floor, the wooden floor, remember to U-turn, okay? Remember to U-turn so that you can reposition yourself. Alright, so this will be the end of my discussion for Hot Air Skyway. I hope this can help people who are still struggling in the track. And again, I will be attaching a video, a whole video of me doing Hot Air Skyway against the dev, so that you can use that as a reference. Anyway, so good luck, and I hope you get the Master Wheel soon.